Hello and welcome to the second instalment of the Illawarra Roundup. I'm joined by the Illawarra Mercury's Mitch Jennings. Happy to be here after the first round of local footy done and dusted. Indeed. We've got the Emergency Services Challenge Cup here, which is going to be fought out between the Dragons and the Storm on Sunday. Um, but before then, we've also got the Steelers in flight in the SG Ball and Tasha Gale Nines, both playing for spots in the grand final. I spoke the first week of local footy done and dusted and we're ready to rip straight into week number two, Dapto and Coromel. Yeah, it was interesting. I did go out to the Dapto West game last week. It was a, a grand final rematch and uh, it probably wasn't living up to the standard they set last year. I think both teams would be upfront about that. Uh, West, they were coming off a, a game on the previous Wednesday night in the Challenge Cup. Dapto, a bit underdone, so it was very, very tough, but it probably lacked just a little bit of polish. For me, it probably just showed how much for Dapto winning's become a habit. I actually thought West probably controlled more of the game for longer stretches, but Dapto just came up with some class touches and it's just what they built their season on last year as well, being able to counter punch while they're under pressure. And we saw that against West. Um, and then Coromel, they were probably the standout performance mm. of the weekend. You know, 32-10, they're over Berkeley at home. Plenty of tries, scoring plenty of points. We had Tony Pello on uh, the roundup last week. He got a hat-trick. So uh, we spoke to Benny Matthew from Collies earlier. He's Good bet on the doubles if you've got him. But, um, yeah, it's coming into probably a, a very close match out there at Dapto. I think Dapto's still hitting their strides. Coromel scoring some points. It really does show that uh, all the stuff they were talking about, Jimmy Green really bringing the, those young fellas together, has come to fruition early on. Depth will be the problem for them through the year, but certainly a, a very good start for them. I suppose that's the thing that you did touch on, Jimmy Green being at the held. He's obviously had a great impact to start with. I suppose the test will now come with the rest of the season. I suppose it doesn't get any easier for them against Dapto this no. weekend. No, no, not at all. Like Dapto, it's as tough as you get Dapto showground. And as we mentioned, they, they probably did need to start well. Coromel, they missed a the jump a little bit last year. And as we said, depth can get tested through a season. So they are probably chasing the chasing the the season from the start last year. So to get off to a fly is really, really good for him. It will be a big step up at Dapto. You'd have to lean towards Dapto in this one, but uh, expect Coromel to give him a fair test. Going down to Coromel last weekend was Berkeley, up against West this weekend. You said you did cop a bit of um, action down there at the, the West game and plenty to look forward to for the Red Devils. Yeah, there's still plenty there for West. As we mentioned, they were backing up. There were a few uh, big names missing as well and I think they're just still coming to grips with a lack of experience if you look at what they've uh, lost in experience over the last couple of years Daniel Holdsworth the obvious one we've spoken about but even guys like Matty Clark at Hooker from the year before so they do have young guys in those key positions now you've got Josh Daly who was very good on the weekend uh, Justin Rodriguez and Hayden Carpenter in the halves they had some really good touches as well the game management probably just wasn't quite there to adapt those level and that proved the difference but that's only going to get better for those guys as the season goes on and you probably have to lean towards them over Berkeley this weekend Another side that will be looking for a better performance this weekend is Helensburg. They face Collies. Um, obviously, a lot of fresh faces there as well. There are a few. Yeah, yeah. I spoke to one uh, early, Benny Matthew. He's a big boy, and uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what they can put on the paddock. And I'm joined now by Collegians prop Ben Matthew. And Ben, mate, it's uh, had to sit back and watch a lot of the clubs go into action last week. How chomping at the bit are you to get out there this week? Yeah, the boys are itching at it. We've been training hard all pre-season, done a lot of opposed, and it's just all putting it together for this week against Helensburg. Obviously, pre-seasons have been interrupted. Yours, that little bit longer than everybody else's with that extra week. How do you feel the squad that uh, Nathan Fiend's put together is, is coming together? Yeah, I think it's going good. Fiend, he's had a lot of good tactics he's put in play and a lot, got a lot... Got a lot of good um, advice, obviously playing NRL, and he's had a real good impact on my game and all the boys' games, I think. Obviously, collegians, they're always aiming to be there on the big day, and the squad you have put together on paper looks pretty impressive. Uh, is it setting the bar pretty high? Yeah, I think he's just saying to us, just play how we can play. All he expects for us is to really do what we've been trained to do, and if we do that, I think we'll beat any team in this competition. And obviously coming up against Helensburg, uh, they're the 2015 Premiers. Uh, you never quite know what you're going to get except the hard effort from the Tigers. Uh, have you heard much about what they can sort of spring or is uh, Nathan sort of focused mostly on you guys uh, in camp this week? Oh, Fancy hasn't really said much about any other competition. He just really says, boys, this is what we've been doing at training. Go out and play like that and news will be all right. So he's really just been focusing on us. You're one of a couple of new faces though, mate. And I know, speaking of Nathan last year, he wanted to add a bit of muscle. You're a pretty hefty big lad. <laughs> mate, what are you going to try to bring the Collegians personally this year? Oh, I'm just going to run hard and tackle hard and get on the front foot for the boys and not let them down. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to try to do. Thanks for joining us, mate. Appreciate it. Thanks that, mate.
some great insights, obviously, there, like you said. A big bloke that's going to bring plenty to the table. Yeah, that's right. Collegians, you know, you really got to like the way they look on paper. I, I mentioned it last week. I mentioned it again. I look at their halves, Benny Jones and obviously Jared Boyle coming across from Helensburg. On paper, the best halves pairing you'll get in the competition. And uh, as we mentioned, Nathan Feeney has conceded last year that just as much as they tried as well as they went up front they were certainly fit and battled it out for 80 minutes every week they probably lacked just that little bit of pure muscle and as we mentioned Benny Matthew was a big guy there he was pretty looking to to bring them along and some um, some key guys back Blake Phillips has got the captaincy this year I spoke to him a little while ago he said he's been a backseat driver for a long time which I think most referees in the competition would tell you but uh, he's in the driver's seat now and I expect him to have another big season uh, leading them away. I know you had a look at Helensburg last week. It was a Northern Derby up there. Mm. Um, probably not the performance they would have wanted uh, at Rex Jackson over in front of the Tigers faithful. No, definitely not. I think the way that Thrill started the game really set the tone for the for the entire match. And the Tigers were behind the eight ball from the get-go, letting them jump out early as they did. They really struggled to get the momentum back in their hands. I mean, they had a glut of possession, but they just couldn't capitalise. And I mean, there's a lot of experience in that side. I mean, you look at some of the blokes. I know we did speak about how it's now almost, you know, Helensburg's been pillaged across mm. all teams in the competition. There are some big names still there in, in Tower and, you know, the likes of Simon Maslanka who had that big game experience mm -hmm. and, and did stand up. They just couldn't match it with Thoreau last week. And I think this week they'll be better for that loss. Mm -hmm. um, coming up against Collies is going to be tough. As you touched on, Nathan Fien runs a tight ship there and, and they will be up against it. But I have no doubt. We spoke about it last week. You can never under uh, underestimate the Tigers. Never, never, never. I tell you, they lost their first four last year. They missed the jump a little bit in pre-season then and were, were chasing the season. But um, they still got to within the preliminary final. And uh, like you mentioned, still some real class players in there. They'll bring these young guys through and I'm sure they'll build through the season nicely, the Tigers. Absolutely. Now, that is the Illawarra Weekly wrap-up for Round 2. As we mentioned, let's hope the Scarlet and Whites are among the winner on the weekend and the SG Ball and the Tasha Gale Nines will be back again next week.